Hi Virgo, welcome to your August tarot reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I recommend that you check out your other placements for additional messages because this is a general reading so it may or may not apply. So just take the messages that do and leave what doesn't. If you're watching this from the future, this video may or may not resonate with you because it is for August 2019. So let me know down in the comments below if it did. And if you have a kid around, make sure you turn your volume down put some headphones in or click off because I swear a fuck ton, okay? So there's your warning. Don't go off at me in the comments. I don't wanna offend anybody because some people might get offended. I don't know, everybody gets offended nowadays. So it's just like, if I offend you, then just block me. <laughs> what do you want me to say? But um, yeah, that was a little warning. So you probably have already clicked off by now if swearing offends you. I just thought I'd let that let you all know. Anyway, let's get into your reading. We have the High Priestess that, that, that wanted to come out, and um, let's just see what else wants to come out. So, High Priestess, cool. Come on for Virgo. Okay, we got two other cards that wanted to show themselves. We have Judgment Reverse and the Moon Reverse. Oof, thought I broke my nail for a second. <sighs> okay, so first of all, your intuition guides you to the truth. And then we have the moon reverse, so like some type of truth. This is about some type of truth coming now in o I was gonna say October, what? In August, and we have judgment. It says, I look back with compassion for myself. So, moon, it says, my intuition guides me to the right decision. So, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight real quick. So there was something that happened. Maybe if this was in the past or I don't know, something happened and your intuition is gonna guide you to the truth, okay? So that's interesting, okay? Don't know what exactly is the truth. Don't know what it is about. I don't even know if this has happened yet or if this is past energy, but I mean, you would know and judgment it's like you know angels they're blowing the trumpet you know it's like they stepped in so maybe this was something unexpected that happened and you look back at yourself with comfort and like compassion and be like damn like I really I really went through some shit but thank God for my intuition because that shit really guided me to the truth you know like I don't know there's some type of truth that has come out or it's going to come out so be aware about that and just like you know step out of the way the universe is like they got your back and just like all right let's just get into this i really this is interesting this is an interesting start i don't even know what to say like i am flabbergasted what the fuck <laughs> No, honestly, like, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. Like, you're into it's just two intuitive cards that came out. I was just like, okay, any other details? I don't know. But we just, let's just get on with this. It's been, oh my god, it's been seven minutes, what? Or maybe it's not. I don't know, I have a timer, but I don't remember if I said it when I pressed record, so it will be a few minutes off. But I'm trying to keep these videos similar length and I have been failing miserably so I'm gonna try and keep most videos around 20 25 minutes Ooh, so yeah because this is bad it's taking up so much space on my phone I've been having so many like issues and I have to redo Leo because apparently the whole file is corrupt so it's like great now I have to go back and do Leo which I think I did them like what twice it's like fuck so annoying but it's whatever it is what it is i'm not gonna stop i gotta push myself let's just get into your reading one more sample for virgo actually two there there we go what's going on for virgo in august 2019 summer Venus. Really forgot to say that this is for your career and love i forgot to mention that ace of swords truth is coming out truth is coming out something's being exposed some truth is coming out you're ready to have a breakthrough to success that's what it says at the bottom of the deck bottom of the car not bottom of the deck two cups at the bottom of the deck okay let's see <clears throat> the star reverse why this is the third time the star reverse has come out 
What is up with that? Nine of Swords Reverse. Okay. Okay. And King of Pentacles. A lot of similar cards that just keep coming out. And I don't know if it's me or I don't know if it's the energy I keep picking up on or what. But it's like, what the fuck? Okay. So, let's get into this. Some type of truth is coming out. Okay. And I feel like you already know what this truth is. The star reverse is kind of like you see the situation for what it is, okay? I would if there if there were more like earth pinnacle cards, I would say, oh, you have this dream, you have a wish to. No, I feel like this is so something different than that. In this dream, in this dream. Oh wait, okay. I look at my hands. I like, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're not in a dream. I don't know why I said in this dream. Have you been having like? some vivid dreams where it's just like i don't know vivid ass dreams if you have like pay attention to them write them down look up dream meetings because possibly there could be some messages your guides are trying to tell you i don't know where that came from so clearly that's for somebody out there because i didn't even think about it i just said in this dream i'm like huh <laughs> what but um I think you see a situation clearly you see a situation for what it is and I think you're releasing yourself from any anxieties you're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel so like it says I trust the present moment you have trust with not within not only yourself but your intuition and you just you're, you're really just seeing whatever the situation is for whatever it is like if somebody lied You see him as a liar, okay? If you see someone did you wrong, right? Or did some dirty shit to you. You see him for what they did. You saw their true colors, okay? And nothing's gonna change that. Nothing can undo that. And then this is you, King of Pentacles, Earth sign, Virgo, hey -o. I am sure of my place in the world. You're doing well, you're fine, you're grounded, you're successful, you're doing well, you ha I just said that twice, what the fuck, look, broken wet, I can't speak, <laughs> okay, wow, you guys got me tongue-tied, but anyway, you guys are doing great, you're grounded, you're stable, you're secure, and nothing's gonna shake you off your feet, nothing's gonna shake you off your feet, not even this situation, like, the worst is over, really, unless Ten of Swords come out, then, like, Basically, the worst is over. The worst is over. Let's see what else comes out. We have the moon. The sun first. <laughs> Sheet. And Knight of Wands. So, if this is a person, perhaps they were in and out, kind of wishy-washy. And it made you not happy. The sun reverse. Hello, like, not very happy. Opposite of happy. Sad. Mad. Disappointed. They could have let you let oh my god speak properly, like English much. Okay. They could have left you feeling disappointed or really just hurt in the past. Somebody could have done this to you. They could have lied. They could have had <laughs> Oh my god, I've never had so much trouble speaking. Like you could think, oh my god, English must not be your first language. English is the only language I know. <laughs> oh my god. Um, there could have been lies, deception, secrets that this person hid from you and maybe either your intuition just knew something was off or maybe they exposed themselves somebody exposed them the truth was exposed though and um honestly you just want the truth and nothing but the truth no bullshit none of that shit it's just like you either come to me with the full truth or you can get the fuck out i don't want nothing to do with you really so it's just like Let's just, let's just, oh my god, let's actually just like clarify what exactly these cards are saying. You can only go so far, you know, I like a little bit more insight before I just start like speaking. Because a lot of things are going through my head, I'm like, ooh, this could be this, 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 so let's go a little bit more into detail, it's been like 13 minutes, okay, cool. Oh, oh, 
Okay, so there could have been conflict in the past between you and this individual. It's about fighting, arguing. There could have been lots of arguments. They could have said some hurtful things, whoever this person did. They could have said hurtful things, done hurtful things. Maybe you found out that they lied or they weren't telling the full truth. So maybe they're only telling like half a truth. And you're just like, why didn't you just be honest with me in the first place? Like, why couldn't you have just been upfront? Like, why did it have to go like this? Why did it have to escalate? Like, it didn't have to be like this. What the fuck? I don't know. Not the ace of swords, please. For Virgo. So, this is August 2019. The ace of swords, please. Three of cups. Okay. like this is about celebration and shit it's just like how does this fit see like i'm i'm so whatever you know what i'm wasting time trying to think about this is if it fits it fits if it doesn't it doesn't this person may try to reconnect with you if there has been distance apart don't know if there has been this is kind of more like just intuitive there could be distance between you and this individual and they may try and come back with communication or some type of truth and if this isn't about a person or some truth coming out you're having breakthrough to success possibly you could have like conflict going on in your mind stopping you from moving forward but i'm telling you don't stress don't worry it'll all work out just fine You'll have celebration times in August. I don't know. Maybe if this truth comes out, it'll allow you to have relief and be like, oh, okay, finally, like, weight off my shoulder, some shit like that. I don't know. Tell me about the star reverse, please, for Virgo, Smoothing Venus. Tell me about the star reverse. of wands you could have been dealing with a fire sign or maybe someone who has fire in the chart if not it doesn't have to be somebody could have been juggling you maybe oh <laughs> somebody could have been juggling you and you know it maybe they had other people maybe it was this fire sign that was like kind of juggling you not really being concrete kind of just like wishy-washy I don't know something something about this person though gave you anxiety like they were they were unpredictable somebody was unpredictable and it stressed you out how about the nine of swords so yeah see working you are working on getting out of this situation you're work focusing on yourself work working on that coin getting your money really just focusing on your finances Swords reverse. Yeah, it's like you have to you have to guard up towards whoever this is or whatever the situation is. Like you are cutthroat. You don't tolerate no bullshit from nobody. It's like you're working hard on yourself, okay? This person, they're up to no good, and you're like, if you're just gonna put this bullshit and like play the games, I don't want it, okay? Enough said, like I don't want that shit. I know my worth and um yeah, like if you're gonna be like this, I might as well just focus on my coin and not waste my time. So either give me the fucking truth or fuck off. Because I already know the truth. It's like, I already know the truth, but like, you better fucking come to me with that truth. Because I don't know if you're lying. I don't fucking know. Oh my god, that was really loud. It's like, Judge Judy, um, you know, case closed. You're a liar. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know night. night. I was going to say night. It's king. Sorry about that. My phone went off and I had to turn my alarm off. And okay, we are on King of Pentacles, clarifying this. So you're obviously focusing on your coin, working really hard. Yeah, and you may have a lot of options, a lot of job options, or maybe you are just not satisfied with your options. Or maybe you just have to, maybe you have like a lot of things you want to focus on right now. And you're kind of like stuck like okay I want to focus on this but I also want to focus on this but I also have this and this and this you kind of just need to focus on one thing at a time okay 
And I see that you're just focused mainly in the spread. Because you've got a lot of shit going on. You have a lot of shit going on. But you are focusing on your coin. You're focusing on building yourself up. Getting yourself out of the situation. And, I mean, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Should I get one more? Nah, I think that's pretty, pretty clear. So, yeah, I feel like... I feel that, like, whoever this King of Wands is, is also this Knight. Because... The cards for you, they're more like kind of purpley. I don't know, maybe it's, it's for one person. If this is you or the other person, I don't fucking know. They're like purple, blue, and then this person, like totally, like the person you could have had conflict with, like fire, fire, yellow, like lots of yellow for them. I don't know. That's just my thought. Maybe not. Who knows? Let me know down in the comments below. Knight of Wands also says I make decisions without pressure. So again, if you're making some type of decision, don't feel pressure. Do what feels right. You know. Use that intuition of yours. But yeah, tell me what this Knight of Wands. There we go. Tell me what this Knight of Wands, please. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Definitely not starting anything new regarding this person. What is oh, okay, that's way too many. That's a huge ass stack. Like fucking ten cards. Oh my god. Try with the Nine of Wands. Four of Wands reverse. This is about something that, a, like a, a broken foundation. Something that's ended. Something that's just not successful, okay? There is no new start. There is no working together. There's no collaboration with this individual. It's just like, the reason why it's not so stable is because this person's just in and out, in and out, wishy-washy, you know? It's just like, make up your fucking mind or get the fuck out. Like, shut up. Like, I don't need this bullshit. You make me sad. The sun reverse. Like, no, I don't want that shit. We want to fucking flip it over so that it's the sun upright, you know? We want happiness. Am I recording? Oh, I am. Okay. So, I think you could be choosing not to start anything new with this person due to just who they are like they're not very this person doesn't seem reliable they're all they're just this person feels wishy-washy as fuck very like in and out come and go they come in quick they leave quickly like if they do come in your life they're gonna leave just as fast as they came in i'm sorry like that's that's how it goes i'm the sun reversed why is the sun reversed okay thanks oh look see seven of sword Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is about deception. That card hasn't come out, but if it did, I called it. <laughs> um, no, Seven of Wands. This is about. I think you had your guard up towards this person because they hurt you in the past. Which is like, who wouldn't have their guard up? I would too. So I don't blame you. Keep that fucking guard up because they clearly ain't shit, and like, they're probably up to no good. Like literally, I felt like. Seven of Swords, it's like, yeah, trickery. If that card comes out, it just, that just confirms. <sighs> yeah, time with the sun reversed. Oh, God. Page of Cups. Stay me. Try to communicate with you as well. This is a communication. This could be apology. Maybe they're going to be like, sorry, blah, blah, blah. I'm changed. I'm different now. But it's just like, oh, yeah. Well, I want to know the truth about this, or I want to know the truth and only the truth, no bullshit. And you're going to catch them on their bullshit because your intuition is going to be screaming at you, being like, you know what they're up to, they're up to no good, or maybe not. But, like, I just, I feel like if there is communication, you're definitely going to have your guard up. We got the Queen of Swords reversed, so like, again, your guard is up. You have your sword, you're swinging that shit, you're, you're not scared to stab a bitch. Okay? Okay. And let's see what this moon is about. Okay, what are these secrets? Tell me about the moon. What are these secrets? That is it. Hidden. What is it? What's hiding? What's the truth? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Queen of Cups, intuition card again, thanks, like, no shit. Maybe this person is 
emotionally unavailable. Which is just like, okay, get the fuck out. I don't want you. I don't know. Ugh. Could be dealing with a cancer. Maybe they have cancer in their chart, or you do. This person just wants to go, 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 and you're like, hold the fuck up. Where the hell have you been? Or like, if they've been gone, or like, just like, hold the fuck up. Mm-mm. Because they want to just go. They just want to go for it. They're like, no, no, mm-mm. You got to tell me the truth first. And then I decide. Because the moon, it says, my intuition guides me to the right decision. So you may have a decision. Also, the chariot is like about... You know, being pulled in two directions. Maybe part of you is like, oh, I want to give this a second chance. And then part of you is like, fuck no. That could be another little side story. I don't know. I feel like this person is emotionally unavailable. Huh. What This card wants to come out. It's judgment. <laughs> oh, the universe. They're blowing their fucking trumpet again. That was in the pre-shuffle. They're blowing the trumpet. Just, <coughs> excuse me, don't know what the fuck that was about, but um, judgment with all these cards, it's just like, man, <laughs> you just, I'm like totally like, my brain just went blank again. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't understand. I think I need to take a break after this and get a snack. But anyway, oh my god, I'm running out of time. <sighs> I need to hurry up. Okay, you know what? Let's just pretend. I don't know. You know what? I don't know. Okay, Virgo, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't even know if this makes any sense. And sorry if it doesn't. I'm real sorry if it didn't make any sense. Judgment came out, so it's just like the universe, they're honking their horns and. Be ready for some change. Be ready for some change. There could be some type of change coming your way. Okay. Be aware. It could be due to this decision you're about to make. Who fucking knows, right? Who fucking knows? Okay. Just be aware. It may or may not happen. It may not come through. Maybe for some it will. Maybe for some it won't. It's just a little heads up. Again, this is kind of similar to Libra's. To be a Libra. Um, Virgo cusp, but for Libra, someone is coming back to the past. I mean, someone from the past coming back. So if you are a Libra cusp, then check out that reading as well, because I kind of like there are some definitely someone from the past wanting to return. So if you are on the cusp, what the hell fell off? Is that a oh, it was one of my crystals? Oops. But if you are a cusp, definitely check it out. It actually might resonate with you, but let's just get some advice. If this person does come back, hit you up. Like I don't know. This is like really similar to Libras. Now that I think about it, that's weird. But it's like right next to each other. So okay. Any advice for Virgo? Queen of Wands. Stay grounded. What does it say? I am naturally creative. You could be feeling very inspired, very passionate. You may have a lot of ideas and creative juices throwing in your head. Throwing in your head. Fl flowing in your head. It's still like, if you have any ideas, write them down so you don't forget them because you're, you're like, a, you could be really creative. You may be artistic. You may like to draw, paint, do artsy things, write, read. Who fucking knows? But like something in the creative realm. The Nine of Swords, trust the present moment, okay? Have trust within yourself, have trust within your situation. Just have trust that everything's gonna work out the way it's supposed to. It may, you may feel uncomfortable at times, but just know that you're gonna get past this. You're a strong ass bitch, you're a strong motherfucker, and you can get through anything that comes your way, okay? So just remember that, stay strong, and don't give up. Keep on pushing forward. Okay, any advice for Libra? Six of Wands. So you're going to be successful this month. Whatever your goals are. Man, I don't know why I'm itchy all of a It says, I'm proud of what I achieve and accept my rewards. So you could be achieving shit this month. 
or just being successful this month, really taking forward steps into whatever direction you want to head. And I see you being very successful. Let's use this deck, see if anything comes out. Any advice? Seven of Swords, bitch, I said it. Someone could be up to no good, trickstery ways. But if this isn't a person, it's also like thinking smarter, working smarter, not harder, okay? Planning shit, setting goals for yourself, really just coming up with a solid plan on where you want to go. Set goals for yourself for the month of August, okay? It's really going to help you move forward. And if this is a past person or just someone up to no good, be aware of that. Use your intuition. You already know. Oh, um, we have Nine of Swords reverse. Okay, so if this is this past person, because it's kind of like directed at this, they may not reach out, but just be aware that you may get some kind of clarity on a situation that caused you anxiety. You may see something clearly. Yeah, Queen of Swords, it's very logical. Like you're gonna see the situation, whatever this is. What was I saying? You're gonna see a situation for what it is. Like you're gonna just see their true colors or just don't make excuses for whatever this is and just see it for what it is i just keep repeating myself but really just keep seeing whatever this is see it for what it is don't make excuses don't look at it from a different perspective don't be like well maybe it's this or maybe this no sorry no but just just see it for how it is okay and um yeah i don't know why my hand is itchy <laughs> but yeah you are a very creative person I feel like whoever I'm tapped into you're a creative person you have a lot of gifts okay use them use them you will be successful if you use them don't let your fears stop you from moving forward because that could also be another little message here like oh I'm scared I don't want to move forward because my fears are stopping me from moving forward it's like don't let your fears stop you okay you're great keep it up don't give up on yourself have faith People support you, people care about you, you know, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I hope that made sense. And I'm gonna end this reading here because my brain cannot function anymore, okay? I hope you enjoyed this reading, I hope it resonated. If you did, comment below and um, I hope to see you guys next time. If I didn't pick up your energy, my bad. Hopefully I'll pick it up on the next video. Goodbye y'all. See you next time. Bye.